morning. So, how is everyone doing today? Today, I am going to study what, what one of my class called CE542 Hydrology. And I have no idea where to start, so I'm just going to go look for some, for some of my friends who will be around here. So, let's go look for them. I think I hear them in this room right here. Oh, look at them. There they are. Hey! Oh, what you guys doing? Oh, we are doing like the airlifting mechanism. Experiment. Experiment, yeah. Do you want to join us? Yes. <laughs> yes, I would love to. Yeah. All right. Let's, let's get on with whatever you guys are doing here. So today, we are doing an experiment on convective airlifting. Convective lifting occurs when air near the ground is warmed by the sun and begins to rise into the atmosphere. In this experiment, when a cup of hot water is placed under the tank, the red ink will start to rise up to the surface of the water. The blue ink will flow to the center, get warmed, and will rise up as well. Once the red ink cools at the top, it will sink and the cycle restarts. In the atmosphere, this constant cycle of air warming, rising and cooling results in cloud formations where the air reaches high enough altitudes to cool to its saturation point and the moisture within condenses to become visible as clouds. Yo guys, that was so cool! What are you guys doing after this? Um, I think we are going out for a walk. Yeah, we need to de-stress a little bit. So, let's go! Okay, but can I join you guys? Yeah, of course! Sure. Cool. Wow, Lolo, you pick a very nice weather to go on a walk in. Yeah, but we are de-stressing and look at this slope. This reminds me of the airlifting mechanism that Professor Mawadi taught in class. Which one? Orographic lifting, do you remember? No, not at all. Okay, let's walk up the slope and I'll explain it to you. So when the air hits the terrain, the air is forced to move upwards uh, from a lower elevation area to a higher elevation area. And this side of the mountain is usually called the windward side, whereas when, when it descends on from the, to the other side of the mountain, it's called the leeward side. So as the air gains altitude, the air cools down really quickly and it increases the relative humidity by 100%. And this causes precipitation and forms clouds. And after that, when the air moves from the top of the mountain to the other side, which is the leeward side, the air temperature increases. So as you can see, the windward side usually sees most of the precipitation, whereas the leeward side sees much less of it. And this is the overall process of orographic lifting. <gasps> Why do you have to go up the hill to talk about that? Well, it's a good exercise. Hurry up, Nuts! 